Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One, and we are starting the timer 10 Minutes or Less. Ooh. TNT, have you ever been to a petting zoo? Sure, dude. Have you? Yeah, absolutely. I don't, know if, I don't like, I haven't been to one long enough that I remember going to one. I mean, I definitely wouldn't remember the last time I've been to a petting zoo, but I do remember going to a petting zoo, and there's like a donkey and a horse and like a freaking. Goats. Like a goat, chickens, maybe a duck. Yeah, yeah. And I just so, remember like not wanting to touch any of them. Yeah, animals are dirty, dude. Right? And, then and they wanna, stink. And, and then you um, lick your hand, and then you don't have anywhere to wash your hand, dude. <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do? It's COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Get your COVID mouth away from me, dog. <laughs> so, Literally, at, dog. So, at a petting zoo, yeah. a camel, they had a camel. Fair. Uh, it, it got loose at the petting zoo. Okay. They're not so, very fast. I mean, they're fast, but not very fast. Yeah, and you know, and I would think that at a petting zoo, if mm. one of the animals gets loose, you know, it's probably pretty safe because they're at a place where you're there to interact with them and touch them. I mean, like a what a school auditorium? I mean, no, they're like just they're like little kids go there. You know, if the animals were dangerous, uh, there would be an issue, the, like having it there in the first place. So, right. so this camel gets out. It kills two people. The camel killed two the people. The camel killed two grown adults. Okay. And they ended up having to euthanize it. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. it got away from the petting zoo. Yeah. So, like, wow. it, it just had had enough. It, like, it went wow. rogue. It broke out. It killed a 42 and a 67-year-old person. Okay. The 67, I could see. 42, bro, you should be able to fight your way through a camel attack. Or at least run away from a camel. And, yeah, so I'm, I, my, my, I guess my question is, like, what happened to this camel? Because obviously it's it had to have been there for a while. Kids were feeding it. It's around people. It's used to people. It's domesticated. It felt it tasted freedom, man. And it was like it's. <laughs> it was I'm like not laughing at my, the death. This is my chance. <laughs> it was like this. No is my one's chance. gonna stop me. And I am getting out of here. The old man's like, whoa, 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 friendly camel, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just, I just fed you an apple. Just hey. <laughs> it was just like no, just whipped yep. its neck at it. He did the math. He didn't care how close the Sahara Gobi. He did not care. He was like, I'm making it home. So it's like. But how? But on the flip side of that, how would you feel if, like, the last day of your life was like taken to the kids to the petting zoo and a effing camel kills you at the petting zoo? I mean, dude, they're big. It, I guess that just shows any day could be your day. Any day could be your day. I'm so I'm assuming that the camel just like uh, trampled them to death, huh? Probably. Probably it, 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 it didn't describe how they were dead. Yeah. They just said they found two people unconscious and they were dead. Damn, yeah. man. So maybe they had a heart attack. Maybe they whatever. Maybe they were trampled. You know, whatever. Could have stepped like they fell down. They stepped on its head. Because I mean, like yeah, the camel's yeah. big enough that it could break your neck. Oh if, yeah, yeah. Animals trample, dude. If it steps on you, animals definitely trample. Like I've definitely seen like enough Canadian uh, moose attacks. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't know you were a connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So, but like, yeah, because it's like, like, yeah, that thing could kill you easily. Like they didn't say it like bit them and tried to eat them or anything. Like it, you know, it could. <laughs> it like wasn't like it was a manic, rabid, <laughs> bloodthirsty camel. But, <laughs> but it bit like, them and tried to eat them. But I'm uh, pretty but sure you know, camels. I think they might be like light omnivores. Yeah, I don't know if they eat meat or not. I don't know. They seem like they'd be herbivores to me. Yeah, I don't know. I, like, I feel you. They, I feel like they have flat teeth, but I think if they, like, got a hold of a scorpion or something, they'd eat it. Like, if they put, if you put your, like, calf muscle in a camel's mouth, what do you think it would do? Yeah, probably you bite you. want, like, bubble gum? I'll probably bite you. Probably Prob freaking bite you. And he's like, excuse me, sir, why is your calf in my mouth? I don't know why you'd put your calf in, in a camel's mouth. Is that... To rest. <laughs> to rest your calves. <laughs> what a better place than a camel's mouth. Fair enough. <laughs> well, just just the one calf, huh, apparently. <laughs> just one, dude. You know, just it's just, sometimes it's hard out here for your calves. No, I, but I, uh, I know, like, deer deer will eat, like, chipmunks and stuff if they can catch it, so I can see a camel just like... Yeah, yeah exactly. And, like, I feel like... And if you just, piss a camel off, it's going to freaking bite you, man. Well, they spit at you anyway, right? Isn't, yeah, that, isn't that camel's spit. thing? Yeah, it's camels and llama spit, for sure. Dude... If, a cam if I went to a petting zoo and a camel spit in my face. It's on site. You ever seen that video of like the guy in New York and he's getting on the uh, he's getting on like the L train or whatever. And some dude is outside of the train. Doors are closing. 
he holds the doors a little bit and spits on them and then the doors start closing and then the dude's like trying to pry the doors open he goes back up double down spits on him again oh, and gee. the dude is like just on the inside he's just like struggling trying to open the doors eventually freaking doors open wide up <laughs> open up wide uh-huh. and the other dude is just like standing there because he's thinking like the train is gonna go and the look on his face when the dude who he just spit on gets out of the train and just that's me with a camel <laughs> so it was one of those things where he thought the train was leaving but it was pulling up to the station <laughs> no it wasn't that th- it wasn't that he was the dude was actually getting on a train to go to the next stop but the train isn't gonna go anywhere until all the doors are closed oh okay oh so he was fighting the the yeah. door so he got the door open and the guy was just like, yeah. I'm dead. Right. Like the conductor can't take off until all the doors are closed because obviously. Right, right. Man, like, did he yeah. fight him? Uh, Yeah, he proceeded to beat his ass and well, rightfully so. Was it the, the guy spit into the train because he was trying to catch it? And he wouldn't. No, no. The guy inside. They had had an altercation prior to it. I, don't, uh, I really didn't expect it to go this deep into no, it. Dude, but that, that's interesting to me. It's like, let me ask you this. Have you ever spit on another person? No. Yeah, me neither. It, it, Have you ever come close? No, uh, no. I've bitten people before. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, look, I don't like the fact that I'm a dirty fighter, but I've definitely, in a fight, bitten a person and been <laughs> like, oh, I just got the upper hand. <laughs> and I've t- rode that upper hand to victory. I mean. Okay, that has happened on more than one occasion, and I am not proud of it, but <laughs> hey. If but you're not cheating, you're, you're not trying. When you're in fight or flight, dude, I do right. I just I don't I can't control it. Sometimes. In your head, you're like either I win or I die. Yeah, <laughs> like you. I mean, you, you grab a finger, you pull it back, you bite, you whatever. It's you dirty too, and I'm not proud of it, dude. And that's you know that's, that's like what, hitting somebody in the nuts. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get Jonas to go to Capoeira with me so we can just learn how to fight. <laughs> we can learn how to Eddie Gordo, everybody. <laughs> I really want to do it too. Um. But yeah, dude, I uh, I've never spit. I've never even thought about spitting. You, on a you've person. never been spit on either, huh? No. Do you feel like it'd be on site if you got spit on? Ooh, like that's... actually, that's that's actually assault. I would I would be more apt. Is it assault or battery? It's one. It Whatever. Is one or two. I would be more apt to just go find a cop and get him arrested because I feel like. I would want to punch you in the face, but watching you get arrested for doing something stupid would make me feel so good. It would, but it would also make me feel good to cave its freaking face in. Yeah, but what would feel better is watch, knowing they have to go to jail and go to court because they spit on me. Oh, yeah. Dude, I want, can you get money out of that? Are you uh, saying you could sue? Could I, I like take this, the loogie to my face and like hit the ground and be like, oh, God, no. Go into total Karen mode. I slipped mode. and broke my neck. <laughs> yeah, go, total Karen mode. And just, like, I don't know. I feel like I would just be like, oh, dude, people saw that. I'm going to get a cop, yo. Like, <laughs> oh, I can't wait for you to go to jail. <laughs> Fair enough, Jonas. Fair enough. Jonas wants to send your ass to jail. <laughs> so I don't know. I have no clue what I would do. It would be hard not to, dude, if, especially if it was a heated discussion and someone if you're like you're like you're like arguing and they're just like and spit right dude it would be so mm, hard i raised my fist just thinking about it my <laughs> fist is clenched <laughs> that's all time we have oh. for this episode please make sure to go to the crazy and subscribe for jonas tnt uh we are out